What's up, y'all? Back in a new damn video. Just get right down to it, all right? First off, it's been a while since I've been here. There's not much to talk about. It was had a decent draft. Whatever. And I know you guys missed this beautiful face, so I had to come pop on here real quick and talk about this whole Michael Kendricks thing. So, Eagles released Michael Kendricks. I don't get it. I don't, I mean, don't get me wrong, I always wanted his ass gone, remember I told you, he was shitty in coverage, inconsistent, wasn't what everyone hyped him up to be just because he, he was good looking and he had speed, oh my god, these people were in love with him, I didn't get it and see all that, you know what I'm saying, but multiple off seasons we were talking about trading him, never did, then this year we were talking about doing it, never did. We just lost one of our damn linebackers. They're saying ACL injury, out for the damn year. Paul Warndor, whatever the hell his name was. Um, so he's out. Done. And literally right after that happens, Michael Kendricks is gone. So that's why I didn't get the move. I mean, if you did it in general, okay, I get it. But he tears ACL and then literally a couple hours after that, uh, you cut Michael Kendricks, which we already thin a linebacker. I don't know, though. You know, you still got uh, Corey Nelson. You still got... A couple other cats, you know what I mean? Of course, you got Bradham, Nigel Bradham. Jordan Hicks is coming back from injury. But this has a lot to say with I definitely think they were trying to trade him during the draft. They were trying to trade him before the draft. And I think there was no takers because of his contract. That's what I think it was. And I think he's definitely going to get signed. I'm not saying he, there's no market for him. There's definitely market for him. But uh, teams weren't willing to take on his contract. I think that's what it was. That's what it mainly came down to. I think even the Eagles would have took a fifth-round pick for him. Honestly, they would have took anything. And I think teams were like, nah, we ain't giving you nothing because that contract situation. But now that he's released of it, he can, they can they can sign him to these these little minimums of what they think he should be paid. Many teams are going to come knocking on his door. Many teams. A lot of teams are going to come knocking. But it's because they weren't willing to you know pay that kind of money. But now they can pay whatever they offer. You get it? So we'll see. We'll see what else comes from this. Uh he did confirm. I've seen somebody on Twitter saying they, oh, yeah, so they talked to him all this and now on the phone. Yeah, he definitely is getting released, and he's not even upset about it. So I guess that means he wanted out. He wanted money. He wanted whatever. I don't know what he wanted, but uh, let's go, Birds. It's just odd to me. You know, what's the entire ACL out in, like, what is this, one of the first OTAs of the year? Um, and then you just treat him, like, now? Or not even trade him. Release him. Sorry about that. I wish it was a trade. But we'll see. We'll see what comes from this. There has to be another move coming. I don't. I don't know.